Hi, and welcome to Amory's workshop. My name is Anne Marie, and I love to make things. Look what came in the mail today. So it's time to do part three in my teddy bear hoodie because my zipper has come and I think we can finish her up now. Now, if this is the kind of content, however strange it may be, <laughs> that you're into, please like, subscribe, and share. Oh, I hope you can hear me. It's really raining hard. Um, I got my batting in the mail. And so I cut out a piece of batting the same shape as the um, sleeve. And because it just seemed like there was some puff in the picture. Because remember, I'm, I'm just making it up. And I think that'll do it. So I'm stitching around the edge of the batting and I'm going to tuck some little, put some little tacks in around the arm and the leg <laughs> um, to put it in place before I add it to the front and the back of the bomber. So now I have cut out the bomber jacket section of the Mimi G Simplicity 8222. I uh, love this bomber and it's going to be made midi, but I'm going to cut it out full length because I'm not exactly sure how that's all going to work out. So I cut out the front and the back of the of the jacket. Remember, I already have the sleeves with the teddy bears on it. And I have this unbelievable fabric that I got from uh, a Hobby Lobby in Houston a year ago. It might still be there. Um, um, no, in November, it could still be there. But in the movie, they had a bagel as a symbol. I don't want to give away part to the movie. It's such a mind you have to watch it. And I thought this was so cute to be the lining. It's donuts, it's not bagels, but it's the, sh it's the shape that counts. So I have sewn the front to the back of the bomber jacket. And now I have added my teddy bears onto the jacket. Okay, so I'm going to stitch the lining and then stitch the sides and then i'm afraid i'm waiting um to cut out a hood and some bear ears on that so that's my next step so i'm gonna go ahead and stitch the lining for the jacket in this delicious um donut uh, material i've stitched the fronts to the backs now i'm going to add the sleeves uh, sew up the sides and put it together and then I'm going to hold on and wait for my my hoodie. I was held up for quite some time because I needed to find a candy pink separating zipper for my hoodie and I found one. It, it is exactly the right color. Perfect. Okay, so I am going to insert this in the zipper. I have cut out a hoodie. We'll talk about that in a minute. And let me clear my workspace and let's get started. I um, ordered McCall's uh, 7637 PDF um, when uh, McCall's had a sale on patterns this weekend. And I wanted a hood that would work with a bomber jacket. And so it was kind of the perfect combination. So I cut out the pieces for the hood. So here is the hood and here's the lining. Isn't this so fun? Okay, so I am, I think I'm going to prepare the hood first. Um, but the hoodie's going to need some ears. I'm going to have to figure out where the teddy bear ear goes and where to put them. All right, so let's do some research. Okay, so I'm going to guesstimate about the ears on the bear. And this is not too bad, this circle here, especially if I cut it in half give it a little 
pop and with the stitching line about three eighths in, I think this will work. So I'm gonna use this as a ear. I'm gonna cut out two of the fashion fabrics and two of the, ow. So I am going to sew the hoodie, the hood, together all the way around, leaving the neck edge open and the front of the hoodie open. And once I've done that, then I will um, sew the ears, put a little stuffing in them, and then we'll place them and see where they belong. Okay gonna put a little stuffing in each of these little bear ears. Maybe a little bit more. Oh, I love this stuffing. It's so soft. It's called poly fill, silky poly fill. I got it on Amazon. I'll link it below. Oh, it's so lovely. So airy. Okay. Um, let's see. That's about right. A little bit more. Okay. So we've got little ears that'll stand up. I don't know any other way to figure this out other than to put this hoodie on my head and figure out where I should put these ears. Bear, me, bear with me. Pardon the pun. <laughs> okay. All right, here's the hoodie. And I think if I can get one ear in the right place, not too far back, about here. If I put one bear here, nope, hold on, gotta get pink on this side. And I put the other one here it's about right, right? Well, I think that's good enough. I'm gonna put this one on and then mash it up on the other side. Now, if you've hung with me through all this nonsense <laughs> so far, we're almost near the end. <laughs> if you like it, I'm glad you're along for the ride. All right, so I'm gonna mark the um, placement lines on both halves of the hoodie. I'm gonna cut a little slit and then stitch the bear to the in, uh, the ears to the inside, and we'll keep going. So I have pinned my ears in place, sandwiched between the front. I don't know if they're too close or not, but I'm just doing the best estimate, I guess. Now I'm going to stitch these in place. Now I'm going to sew the lining of the hoodie to the, ho the hoodie itself all the way around the edge. I might do my trick of 
uh, sewing it with some stitch witchery so that there's no rolling of the color from side to side. And then I think I'm gonna, I'm, I am gonna top stitch. Okay, so now I have my head, hood finished my head, and I did a top stitch around the edge and I lined it in that crazy donut fabric. Now I'm going to attach the hood to the neckline edge of the hoodie. Now remember, um, the patterns don't match, so I might have to ease them so that it works. Now, when I was attaching the hood to the rest of the jacket, I did have to ease because I had to ease it onto the um, uh, neckline edge of the um, bomber jacket pattern that I used because it was not designed for this hoodie. This is the hoodie I decided to choose. Um, I thought it would be more, uh, it would be more of a match because it was with that pattern that is a hoodie uh, pattern, a bomber with a hoodie attachment. So the easing was pretty good. It wasn't that bad. So now that I have my hoodie hood attached to my hoodie, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the zipper. Now I couldn't be happier with this zipper. You know how when you see things online, you're not exactly sure if the pink is going, if, if it's gonna match exactly. Pretty good, huh? Okay, now, if I remember correctly, my daughter-in-law said she liked the version of this, not a full hoodie, but the mini. That's what was so cute about it is that it's above waistline. It's not uh, near hips. So I'm gonna have to buy her measurements that I took a couple of years ago. I'm going to decide where I'm going to cut this bomber because right now it's uh, full length. I'm going to decide how long I'm going to cut it to give it that mini finish to give it the same look since we're trying to recreate the look. Now I ended taking it off almost, well this is six inches and this is like 10 inches off of the bomber in order for it to match the look of that midi, that short midriff kind of bomber. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go that high with it, but I think I'm in a good stopping place. So now I still can't put the zipper on until I put the band. Now I am using a um, Lycra, oh, what do they call it? Spandex. <laughs> Uh, material to make the cuffs and the band because um, I could not find the appropriate ribbing. The um, the pink is so strong. It's so strong. I tried mood. I tried to, I could not find a ribbing that worked. I did order one, but it was pale in comparison to, to this. So I'm going to go with the pink um, spandex that I used on the bears and the ears. And we'll see how it comes out. First of all, I'm going to uh, measure a band that will work on my daughter-in-law. Uh, it's going to be considerably smaller, so I'm going to have to stretch it as I sew it in so that it will pull in. Um, so let's do that next. Okay, so since we last left, <laughs> I added the band on the uh on the bomber jacket i had to put the band on first so i could set the um zipper in place because it's a separating zipper and so i had to enclose it Oop. okay i have spaces for a little handwork that i want to do but i enclose the zipper uh in between the um lining and the outside of the uh, jack, uh, the bomber jacket or the hoodie so I could get it 
um, to work. Okay, so now it's time. There's only one thing left, and that is wristbands. This is that Lycra spandex kind of thing. And I'm going to pull it tight, but I also think I'm going to trim some off of this full length um, uh, sleeve. I think I'm going to bring it up maybe another two inches, trim off that, and then I'm going to set in the, uh, the sleeve. I like it. It's really good. Okay, so she is finally finished with her... Um, waistband, her teddies, her wristbands, her zipper, her hoodie, her ears, <laughs> and she was so much fun to make. So that's the end of this adventure. This was so much fun to make. Um, it really challenged me to think outside of the box and to incorporate something um, that is not my normal. I don't usually put teddy bears in jackets. <laughs> but just being inspired by someone else's design um, allowed me... Oh, I think I'm going to make some of these teddy bears that sit on their own. I love this combination of the blue with the gold circles. I hope you enjoyed coming along for me on this flight of fancy and making this teddy bear jacket. I'm going to make the elephant jacket too, but not yet. So um, thank you for coming by. And once again, I sew with joy. I hope you are sewing with joy and we will see you soon. Take care.